Welcome to Wildlife Wanderings. I'm Andrew Wegener. I love to get out in the outdoors and to nature to see what we can find. Whether it's in a local park, down here at the beach, or in a nature reserve, or even overseas. It's great to see what we can find that God's made for us, and we're going to see what we can find down here today at the reef. Let's go and have a look. Just rolled this rock over, and there's a couple of very small crustaceans or little crabs that we sometimes don't always get to find, but beautiful to have a look at. Check this out. Come down here with me. This is called a smooth, or one of the rock crabs. Little guy here that's got little blue like feelers at the front. Blends in perfectly well with the rocks. It's got little nippers on the front here, but not big enough to really hurt anybody. And as she moves around really slowly, see how it's backing back. But on a rock surface, very hard to detect with the camouflage. Check out underneath, and you'll notice there's a large flap underneath the bottom here. That indicates it's a female. That flap will come down, and when she's carrying eggs, it's called that she's in berries, so they carry their eggs underneath that flap, whereas a male will have quite a narrow little band or flap down the back there. Now watch as it slowly moves over. There she goes. But yeah, another little species of crab that you find along the eastern shores of Australia. And here at the Mornington Peninsula down at Point Leo, it's one of those ones we don't always get to see because they often hide and blend in really well. Beautiful. I'll pop her back on the rock and you'll see how she blends in pretty well. If it keeps still, you wouldn't even know it was there. Look at that, excellent. From the rock where we've just seen our beautiful little crab, stone crab, we've got an abalone shell crawling through the seaweed, probably feeding on some of the algae. Get down nice and low or we'll try to roll it over. These are highly prized by people that eat shellfish. Only a small specimen, but um, just check out how she'll twist and turn, or it'll twist and turn for a while. That's the foot of the abalone shell. That's the part that sticks hard onto a rock and onto the surface of the, the ocean, just feeding on all this algae and seaweed. As I roll the shell over, you'll notice that beautiful shell there. And when they're empty on the beach, it's got a beautiful pearly colour inside, like a mother of pearl colour. But the larger abalones will be the size of my hand. And the problem we have along the eastern coast of Australia now is people poach them and take them and take them overseas. They're worth big money. And you've got to have a special licence to actually fish for these abalone. And you'll notice if I move my hand up, it'll stick on. Really good suction. Better than super glue almost. Pretty cool, huh? Excellent.